Hi, my name is Vanessa Smith, and I am applying to be the opening speaker for Deepak Chopra coming to Portland very soon at the end of this month. And I'd like to share with you what I think the future of well being is all about. So we've got, picture this over here, we've got this amazing technology where you can really understand health from a holistic perspective. We've got this area over here where we're looking at intuition and energy and consciousness and how that figures into health. We're looking at this area over here that has diet and exercise and all of these really basic self-care that should be a foundation for all of us for the, the, the basis of our health and our well-being. So all of these important pieces fit in together with each other, right? They're these puzzle pieces between the, this future amazing technology that just keeps coming out and our tools to assess where we're at. We've got this amazing, mysterious area of intuition and energy and consciousness and back here, nutrition and these sort of typical self-care prevention. But what's missing, right? What's the link that holds all of that together? And this is going to be so incredibly simple that I actually, I can't believe that it's not talked about more as the basis for well-being and the basis for um, people feeling fulfilled in their lives. So, drum roll, right? Connection, human connection, community actually feeling support, so serving each other, helping lift each other up. We are tribal by nature. We need to belong to each other and to do so with a very specific purpose, right? Because it's easy when you get groups of people together to uh, match the energy, right? And the kind of the tone of whatever is being presented there. So sometimes you get a group of people together and they gossip. Sometimes you get a group of people together and they're all cooking. You know, we all have kind of a different purpose when we get together. But if you can imagine that little micro groups of people, you know, on it, whatever scale that is, two people together or a much larger group, but they're coming together to create good, to offer service to one another, to bless each other's lives, to lift each other up. Uh, we rise together. And that, that actual human connection, where you feel like somebody truly cares about you, wants the best for your life, and is doing whatever their role is to help lift you up, that is like a little love thread that seeds everything that we need together for health. All of these other aspects are so, so very important. But when you don't have that community support to actually elevate you up, because life is messy, right? We need other people to uh, talk with about what goes on. And as cool as all the technology stuff is, and as amazing as it is to trust your intuition, and as important as, as it is to take preventative steps to eat well and rest well and exercise well, we can't forget the heart. Can't forget the heart. So I think that is the basis for the future of well-being. That has to be at the core of all of these other really important pieces. And as far as why I would be a good choice for Deepak Chopra, why not? <laughs> why not? I've been a life coach for over a decade. I've, you know, I've played all sorts of roles in my career. Becoming a mom has changed me in ways I can't even articulate. I'm still understanding, but what all of these positions have shown me is that human relationships done so in a loving, caring, and supportive way will transform your health for the better. So thanks for listening. Vote me up. It'd be fun to participate. Thanks again for the opportunity. Bye.